My apologies, ladies and gentlemen, for the delayed resumption of the match. We had to use the presence of this crowd to try and raise some money from the fans for one of Uganda's best players, a lady in Rashida Mutesi, who has been raising funds for air travel and accommodation and upkeep to Hebei in China to participate in the World Hebei Championships. She is meant to leave the country Wednesday next week. The good news I have for you is that all the money for the air ticket and accommodation and visa and upkeep has been realized. It is confirmed Rashida to China. Back to the game. Jerry went into the timeout in a very narrow lead. He's the one who even asked for the timeout and the game has resumed around 12 minutes after the timeout and here we are Caesar porting I would say rather unintentionally to win a money match of this level when you are playing when you are versing a player who is as good as you are you need to have a good break you need to have good clearances you need to have game good reading you need to have consistency but you also need a stroke of luck caesar fouls it is an element in the game where i can say jerry has an edge over caesar finding the ball when snooker the playing out of the angle it is extremely rare it is something i've realized in the entire tour of jerry to uganda 
it is extremely rare to miss the ball from the angle, from the cushion, whether or not he is snookered. And yet in the previous shot, Caesar has had, had a series of balls to aim for in to aim for from the angle and yet he still fouled and as unforgiving as Jerry normally is Caesar knows what is about to happen Jerry knows what he's about to do the fans know what is about to happen those at the venue those watching online know rightly that Jerry is about to go two games up for the first time in the match And if there was an award for the player who leads halfway through the match, Jerry would take the award. A total of 41 games is supposed to play to be played in the match if it goes to the wire. And yes, 20 games have been played, and Jerry leads 11-9. The guy who is updating, flipping the scoreboard, is one of Caesar's fondest fans. Forgive him for delaying to update the scoreboard when Jerry puts the black. We are at Climax Bar, at the heart of the city of Kampala in the East African country of Uganda, where Jeremiah Naido is breaking against Caesar Chandiga and fouling for the second time in the match. And the two players, the two sets of fans, all know that white ball being potted against the, in the, on the break whoever is on table is 90% likely to sweep the game away Simple and precise, but, but most importantly, accurate. As Caesar responds to fire with fire, responds to single visit clearance with another single visit clearance of his own, someone needs to help me to count apples and single visit clearances made in this game. You will surely be very, very entertained. The umpire of the day is Mr. Henry Joko, who was assigned with being the official for the entire Ganda Ganda tour of Uganda. And Caesar also fouls on the break. Jerry will take about 10 seconds mapping out a clear route to victory and he will follow the pattern to the end. The game is a little bit tricky. No totally clear color of balls. In fact, it would be a very brilliant performance if Jerry sweeps this game away. I fancy he will use his free shot 
to clear one of the colors of balls and after it is clear then he will try and go for it but he is nodding his head in disbelief of him most probably not making the clearance and if he removes three four five of his balls and it doesn't clear he will leave an open table for Caesar I mean an open game That is the shot that will give Jerry the lead. I would imagine he potted his first balls with his mind set on a game opening shot. And how brilliantly he has perfected that one. He knows that the best way to beat Caesar when you get the chance is not to allow him on the table. And the two players in two consecutive games are putting black in the exact same pocket, almost in the same exact posi position of the white ball and the black. Jerry 12, Caesar 10. <laughs> How well will Jerry break? He sinks in one yellow. And I hear a group of fans who are chanting, thank you. That means he is not on his own. He has some guys supporting him here. Uganda is a country of pool crazy fans and they are so fanatic about the players they choose to support that they support the opponents of their opponents if you know what I mean. Like if you're watching from South Africa, if it were football, if Orlando Pirates is hosting a team in the CAF Champions League, the fans of Kaiser Chiefs will support the visiting team. As Jerry Miskews, I just wanted to remind you that the fans of some of the players, some of them, for instance, fans of Ibra, fans of Mansur, will be supporting Jerry in this one. Quite a shot. What I meant is that the fans, some of the fans of Ibra will not be supporting Caesar. And Caesar rightly, rightly, rightly opts for a safety shot. Just to try and get two shots. And if he does, clear the game. Jerry will try to find the red off two cushion, two cushions and finds. It is a very strong aspect of Jerry's game. Have him snookered. He will find the ball with one either against the cushion or against three cushions, whatever the case may be. He is so good at that. And in my opinion, he could even be the best on the continent at that. in the entire tour. I've so far not seen it. 
when he misses the ball off the cushion after being fouled and sometimes he even aims to put off the cushion when snookered for as long as he keeps winning some games Durban will continue believing Johannesburg will have a ray of hope Pretoria will have optimism but again as long as he continues winning Kampala will have reason to worry Lira will only pray Gulu will be biting their teeth because should Caesar lose this match it will be not just the money lost it will be defeat on home soil to one of the players he doesn't at all want to lose against tempers were raised last month in south africa after jerry defeated caesar in a money match caesar opted to end his tour look at this from jerry how about cropping a clip of that shot and sharing it to your whatsapp status to your tiktok account as long as you love the game you will surely love the good shots jerry will simply have control of the white ball with just the least energy a little top spin now white ball will bounce off the cushion to try and put black in the corner pocket closest to your screen on the left he goes for the corner pocket on the right either way it is brilliant against the player with the highest potential of potting ability on the continent who sinks in the black for the 13th time in the match he is starting to see the end in sight he's being tipped here If you are a fan of pool, if you are a lover of the game, if you are a supporter of these players, if you are a hater of any of them or one of them, you have no reason to sleep. It is past 10 p.m. Ugandan time, just past 9 p.m. in Zambia, in South Africa, in Zimbabwe, in Botswana, in Eswatini. It is 9 p.m. in Arabia. It is 6 p.m. in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Cameroon. Have your popcorn, have your tea, immerse your feet in water, do not slip off. Because Caesar and Eden are treating Africa to a blast of the spot. Look at this. Caesar 
with another of the textbook one visit clearances comes within two frames of Jerry. Jerry, one thing that he must do is to not let Caesar close. It is normally at this stage of the match that the beast comes out of the scorpion. Caesar is one player who can grab the bull by its, horn, its horns, irrespective of who the opponent is, starts to become fearless and impossible to beat winning game after game after game as long as his body and mind is fired up jerry has changed his breaking sequence for the first time in the tour he is hitting the top ball the game is open he's clearly rooting for the yellows i'm not sure he has any of the yellows he can put directly going for the reds is more risky than the potential it provides to win the frame He opts for the Reds, a little wise table closing shot because he opened up the pockets which would have been controlled by Caesar's yellow. I hope you guys are having a clear video from where I'm watching. It looks nothing short of brilliant as Jerry gets himself snookered. He intended to start with the real ball near the center pocket. He instead has the reds. It will be super target if he connects these balls and misses. From where you're watching, you may need to adjust. If you're watching from a phone, you may need to adjust to full light to watch the best picture that you can probably watch for a match of this magnitude. Caesar in attack to go within one game of Jerry. Jerry clearly knows that he cannot afford to have misses as the one he has had a while ago. Caesar versus the yellow. He could play backspin, he could play top spin, he could play stop shot. He has all the options. Black is there for his taking. He goes for backspin, uses Jerry's red as support to have the easiest possible black he can have. Caesar 12. Jerry, 13.
Jim Kush, I know you are probably watching, most definitely watching from Nairobi. If you could kindly extend Jerry's tour to Nairobi. I know that turning tables is your thing. Kindly do. That is Jerry at Jerry's Brilliant Best. Little simple looking but exquisite looking shots. But what about that? Oh my word, this guy, this guy, this guy. Aiming at the black for the 14th time, he has never in this match shot the black more than once. Jerry 14, this is a 12. Shout out to Farai Musa. Crispin Shabula seems to be supporting Caesar. Mokibelo Salome supporting Jerry. Nokom Maputi supporting Jerry. Picking, picking. You are saying that Caesar's break for today is useless. Let us see how good Jerry's break will be in the next frame. If you are watching from South Africa, I want to, to give you the assurance that Jerry is feeling at home. Ugandans are very hospitable people. They definitely do not support him, but they love him. He takes a lot of time before and after these games, taking selfies with them. In fact, when he stepped foot on Ugandan soil, the first person who called him by name were not the team that went to the airport to pick him up, was a staff of the airport who surprised him by saying, Ganda, Ganda, what are you doing here? And the testament that he is having a good treat is the fact that he has decided to extend his stay in Uganda to participate in one or two more events. My pledge to you is that I will follow him wherever he goes. Matches involving him against the best of Ugandan players should not be watched only by the fans at the venues. They should be watched by whoever wishes to watch, as long as they have access to internet. This game has made history. It has replaced yesterday's game between Jerry and Ibra as the most ever live watched game in the history of African pool. Yesterday's game, the highest number of people watching live was 4.2k. As Jerry Snookers himself, right now we are 4,300 strong. Thank you, Africa, for this. Jerry knows that Caesar will not relent. Top spin on the white ball, it will follow the red ball as if they are twin balls, just like that. Maybe it would have been better if he used a little more energy, but it should be good to go because he is Caesar. A little bounce off the cushion, he could decide to put black in the center or in the corner pocket across the your screen on the right. Does exactly that and does so wonderfully well. Caesar 13, Jerry 14, rest to 21. 4.5k viewing live for the first time. Thank you, Africa. Yeah, we're going to go to the 
This one will come out as the easiest of all the clearances that Caesar has had since that time out. He wasn't actually spot on on white balance. There is a little risk of putting black ball in the center white ball being played off the red near the corner pocket and it could go in. You see what I was talking of? He was just a little lucky. Caesar 14. Game 14. Jerry needs a little bit of skill here. He has to avoid getting himself snookered, which is a big possibility given the number of yellows and exactly that happens. You can see the yellow ball closest to your screen on the left. But putting it is another matter altogether. 
we will most likely be going for a defensive safety shot but that mistake definitely brings Caesar back in the game definitely it is 14 14 between these two giants of African pool today in a match I will pretty much call the game of Titans between Jerry and Caesar Uganda versus South Africa Japan versus Lira what started off as a race to 21 is in actual sense a race to seven now Jerry should be careful that this clearance by Caesar could start his match to victory. Predicting that he's unleashing a beast is very easy when you watch him many a times playing. I'm not so convinced with the white balance. By his ability, I fancy he will be having a maximum cut of the red ball to the corner pocket on the right, but he has little control over the black. Oh! produces a skill shot in this match and causes the crowd to burst in joy as they chant his name and tip him they are chanting his name watching tipping session to Caesar and those who continue who wants to continue to are still men he will have all the time to walk all through the arena to collect taxes from the fans they are a tipping fan base Are people having a blast of themselves he is still receiving monies up to now one thing I can tell you is that in Caesar's first money match against Aiden in Kampala of course at a different venue he received more tips than the stake he lost the match but got more money from tips than Eden won from winning the match. Shout out to you, Rama Bulana, as well. Where are you watching from? Innocent Mola Maoko. Marin Pretorius, Masande Koko, Nico Shetty, Nico must be South African, Linda Langat, Prince Nuno, Enos Tumuhairi, Fanel Kawi, Elijah Mulenga, Jacqueline Rangui says it's the shot of the air well, Jacqueline, Medi Kasumba, Jakocha Archives, Moro Canalist Nelly the Dog Mandia, Leslie Nyasha Mnuti, Andy Sen Sokol, Richard Kleberson is asking Caesar to make Uganda proud, Malcolm Caesar, Dennis Simfukwe, Kabuye Musa, Mohindo Chapu James, Tiago Mateo Moramba, Sidney Chizura, Isaac Luhana, Tinashe Trey Chemibiri, Kaka Roger, Spina Kenny, always watching. 
Tabisa Mkube applauds the combination shown Kuma Malepa, Ashley Foris Mkizi, Dennis Ongom watching under pressure from Lusaka, Levi Joshua Mbewe, Obulu Simon says that is the best shot so far. The shot was risky because there was a chance that black could be potted and yet Caesar stood a chance to, in, to miss the pot intended. But risking and yet perfecting the shot under pressure is what makes Caesar a very special player. It's a super Gota. Thank you for watching Nelson Fidi, Park Quintis Duso. Lazaro Mwanza watching from Zambia Lusaka. Nelson Manel watching from Zambia also. Prince Nissan Kalema is an fire base. Joachim Changwesha. Proper Kreflaguria. This is Caesar providing happiness to his set of fans. Another one visit clearance in the making. They will make Another round of chants for the Scorpion as he goes two games up with the foot of the black. And he does. Shaka municipality if you are watching from Bishenyi greetings from Nicholas Mohereza a lover of the sport who wants to have an interaction with you when that time comes he says never forget him <laughs> And once again, this match has broken the African record as the most ever viewing match in the history. is the wrong time to have a glimpse of misfortune in a money match of this magnitude in trying to open up the two red balls Jerry used the right skill right approach right game reading but the final positioning of the white ball was not in his favor and yet given what his opponent is now delivering on the table, Jerry must find a way to at least, at least, at least put a ball. He's going for a defense. Umpire Joko Henry rules that it's a legal shot. 
I'm not sure Caesar can see any of the balls well enough to pot. As if he's trying to pot off his yellow. And does so well. And yet, he never smiles during the game. Even when he's winning, even when he's leading, the only time he smiles, the only time he wears a big smile on his face is after putting black in the very last game. The white ball is moving around, being controlled by him, as if it, he calls it by name and responds to him. As if it understands the language he's speaking. It is the character of a great player to follow a rhythm and perfect it game after game after game after game after game that is exactly what Caesar is a marvel to watch a beast on the table a character of a great player a lovable guy when you watch him play and he's about to sink in black for the 17th time in the match look at the guy flipping the scoreboard forgetting that he is not exactly a fan for today He's kicking everything around and Caesar will continue moving around the arena receiving monies as we hit 5,000 people watching live for the first time in the history of African pool. Thank you Africa for watching. Thank you for loving the players. Thank you for watching the live stream. Thank you for loving the sport and in a personal way, thank you for making me feel relevant. The fans are chanting, we want another one just like the other one. Caesar, the scorpion, as nicknamed by his fans. The tax collector, as he nicknamed by one of his very fond managers in Hans Rogari, now best in Uganda, best in Zambia, sorry, but Uganda and the head of marketing in the All Africa Pool Associations. Thank you for the good work you did for Caesar having him stay in Zambia for more than one year having him play in the Ugandan Pool League from very humble beginnings the villages of Moyo and Germany and Lira and Gulu and yet he has become the toast not only of the Ugandan nation but of the African continent having 5,000 people watching him in a money match something that is happening only for the first time also nicknamed the dictator of Ugandan pool after ruling fellow players especially last year for so many weeks in those weekly tournaments which won more than 20. I have a Caesar fan who traveled from Mobende district, about 100 kilometers away from Kampala. He traveled from there to come and watch this match, and I know he will be sleeping over after watching this. That is how passionate Ugandans are about this sport. Talk to the people, greet to the people of Mobende. Yeah, thanks a lot, Chobe. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Ricky, all along from Mobende. I send my greetings to Alpha, Senior Wapule Mobende, Pasco, uh, Alpha, Chimanyu Kori, Jofa, every good player in Movende, I send you greetings. Wendy, Tim Caesar. Thank you. Yes. That was the greeting. Jerry knows that he has no room to bleak. He is seven games away from victory, but the bad news is that Caesar is only four games away from victory. It literally means that Jerry doesn't have the game in his control. His opponent 
can win the games he breaks and that will be it as long as he wins the games he breaks therefore jerry cannot afford any more error he can start with the either of the two balls he's looking at either of the two yellows a tap of the yellow ball to the center pocket on the left then the black ball to the other center pocket as easy as that and if you are a Caesar fan at the venue or online, first hold your celebration. It is not yet done until it is done. In sport, it is never over until it is over. Jerry to break for the 17th time in the match. Mali Magale, thank you for watching. Otsile Baliki, Menya SG, David Emmanuel, Lewis Slim. Moro Canalis, Tafadzo Nashi Wamshamba, thank you for watching. Dixon Willis, Baba Kerry, Isaac Luhana, Mike Matekebe, and all of you watching, supporting either Caesar or Jerry in your own right. Thank you for your contribution to African Pool as a viewer, as a person who contributes to these numbers. It is not my role, it is not my work. It is the brilliance of these players and the acceptance by you as their fans to keep watching them in competition. Thank you for the wonderful publicity you give to them. I'm also shouting out to fellow media streamers across the continent who do exactly what I do. Thank you from Lusaka in Zambia, Mr. William Soko. You are the guy that inspired a host of streamers. Thank you for doing this first. Thank you for showing us the way. Francis Mokwekwe from Harare in Zimbabwe. Thank you for letting us know how talented those boys are. Sakala, Eska, and the others. Cravo Platinums, your streams and your write-ups always very necessary for the sport. Mozi Fuse from South Africa. Evans Okacha from Kenya's Rock and Shoot Blitz Facebook streaming platforms as well as on YouTube. You always provide wonderful streaming with insightful commentary which has popularized Henry Mwangi, Brian Kiptalam, David Nibuthi, David, uh, ben Kangangi, as well as a host of other Kenyan very good players. Hazel of the Pool East Africa YouTube channel, also based in Nairobi. Thank you for the work you are doing for the sports. Caesar, after that jury clearance, is only one game down. I want to pass my apologies to you at times when I am describing this boy, Caesar. I sound like a fan, but at times I just say exactly how I see him. As a character of a person and as a player, he is a very uniquely gifted talent. As joyful he is to watch on the table is the way he exactly is in real life. As if he is trained to behave in the public as a star and yet he remains so humble in front of fans. 
with very humble beginnings and yet such a star of the game. I normally call him Mr. Numbers because he is the player on the continent that fans are interested in watching the most. Special round of applause to his management team, Robert Onekalit, Council Ramadan, a lawyer based in Gulu, M Mr. Stephen Austin, based in Fort Porto in Midwestern Uganda, and yet on Caesar's management team. I also want to thank Jerry's management team. Thank you for accepting this wonder of a giant and a talent to come and share his talent and his abilities to players and fans in Uganda as well as viewers and lovers of the sport from all over the world. Win or lose, he has been appreciated with his stay in, in his participation in tournament. He has increased the seriousness with which Ugandan pool is looked at and he has won a number of fans not just online but also here in Uganda. And how about this? For a penultimate shot, he's in some kind of trouble because the white ball is almost frozen against the cushion. But he has a very master stroke, such that even white ball frozen against the cushion is normally not a problem, like it's not a problem now. He will beautifully sink in the black and now leads 18. 16. <laughs> The game is at its, mo its most crucial stage. And yet, unfortunately for Jerry, he's losing a little bit of his touch at exactly the time when he must not. The time that I've seen Caesar having such a lead in a money match of this sort and yet has given away the lead is when he faced Aiden in Kampala. He led 2016 and then lost 21 20. That clearance, that session of clearances by Aiden is the best five games under pressure that have I have ever watched in my career. But now see Caesar. How would you even handle playing such a player?
ladies and gentlemen, Jerry must start winning. He cannot let this game slip away. You cannot let Caesar win this game. He cannot go within one game of the victory. You simply cannot. What if there is one player or two players or three players on the African continent who can come back and take Caesar down in front of his own home crowd and then Jerry is one of them. His body reaction, the language in which he nods his head in disbelief will not help. He must keep his held high. This one will most likely be another of Jerry's textbook clearances. This one is for a comeback, is for restoration of comfort, restoration of belief in himself, restoration of belief in his fans. It is also for the money, also for the South African flag. For the South African fans who are watching in bigger numbers than even the Ugandan fans who are hosting these matches. Big top spin coming up. Didn't have to do all that. He did just a little top spin. He gives himself a little bit of difficulty. The black is possible to put in the corner pocket on the right or on the left with a sharp cut. But it won't come easy because it is under pressure, it is away from home, it is on a foreign table, it is during a tour, but it is Jerry playing. And Jerry sinks it in. Very wonderful shooting. Why it is safe? Jerry pulls one back. Caesar 19. Jerry 17. Racing to 21. Now this is the match. There are six games games left if this match is to go to end the decider of the six. Jerry needs four and Caesar two. I beg your pardon, it is five games left. Of the five, Jerry needs four and Caesar two. Caesar is up against an open table, a difficult frame to win, especially if he goes for the reds. If he goes for the yellows, it is easier, but not an obvious clearance to perfect. But should he do it, he will put himself within one game down of bringing down the jury, of paying revenge of bringing joy to the people of Gulu and Arua and Lira and Kampala and Jinja but also bringing the people of Durban and Cape Town and Pretoria and Pumalanga to agony. Please do not sleep. Ah! 
that one will go down as a mistake. It wasn't even what you normally call an abortion where a ball jumps out of the perfect the pocket in misfortune. Caesar was just not on target. The ball hit the jaws of the pocket and here we are now. If you cannot if you are not having nerves, if you are not having tension, if you are not having goosebumps, then you are a metallic fan. Should Jerry make this clearance, the match will become even more interesting. Look at the concentration of three red balls near the corner pocket on the left. That is where the secret of this game is. Whatever Jerry is doing, the mind is there and he has been there even as he played the last three shots. One or two good shots will be good to go for him, but he must achieve accuracy. He wants to open them up. It's a shot that will go down as inaccurate. He has one characteristic in his game that he has been showing all through the tour. That many a times he puts himself in trouble by playing inaccurate shots. But he has the ability to get himself out of the tra same trouble in which he put himself. Now he is in a situation where he can play for victory. He needs to put that red ball to the corner pocket on the right. White ball opens up the second ball. Red in color. And given the final position of the white ball, he should be good to go. This is lovely. Even under pressure, the Ugandan fans, some of them, are giving him a much necessary round of applause. Good cue ball control. The green machine. The Uganda Ganda, the boy from Durban, who is now a source of joy of the Rainbow Nation of South Africa. From the East Coast to East London to Mpumalanga to Pretoria to the Drunkensburg Mountains at the border with Botswana. Now the toast of thousands of followers from South Africa who have kept themselves watching not for the money nobody needs the money they simply want to share the win with jerry but he's up against a scorpion who takes no chances who has potted on the break who has maintained a good white ball and who is playing to go 2018 up Five thousand and five hundred people watching live on break and finish live Facebook, but four hundred people watching live on break and finish YouTube. It is a bar of a match that has been set so high, and I don't even know which match will break this bar. goes for the reds he will put closing the table in the process 
He seems to have a ball to put the red in the middle of the three. And he misses. One thing I am sure of is that this is not the time to miss. Jerry came so confident in himself. He assessed his performance yesterday against Ibra. And in a phone discussion I have I had with him earlier today, he rightly pointed at the lack during the break that every time Ibra potted and didn't Ibra didn't put on the break, he left a very bad game for Jerry to play. He emphasized on the fact that the games he won were difficult games, unlike the games of his opponent. Today he has come with a revised break, hitting the top ball. The breaks have been better, but twice he has potted the cue ball on the break. Yesterday four times he potted the cue ball on the break. This shot by Caesar is a very likely clearance, taking him to within one game of victory, as long as he puts one ball. The red ball near the black or the red ball near the pocket either can go in. Goes for the red ball near the pocket. He will aim to put both balls in the same pocket, maybe even the black, with a little backspin, but he could play a normal shot, white ball supporting the black off into more space, and does that so wonderfully. Caesar 20, Jerry 18. And the math is now easy. There are three games left to play in this match. Jerry must win them both or else lose the match. This is the seventh money match he is playing in his tour of Uganda. He defeated Simon Nobora, the computer, last week on Friday. On Saturday, he defeated Joseph Kasozi. On Sunday, he defeated Rashid Wagaba. On Monday, he lost to Ibrahim Sejemba. On Tuesday, he defeated Bwanika Mansur. On Wednesday, he lost to Ibra Sejemba. On Thursday, he is down against Caesar. And to win the match, he must win three in a row. And yet... And yet, and yet, a fair break gives him an opportunity to go within two. It is possible, but it is not easy at all. Caesar will be rooted to his viewing position, only waiting for a chance to play. Even when he loses this frame, if he loses it, he will be hoping to utilize the next game in which he will be the guy breaking. But should he lose them both, then we shall have one of the most pressurous deciding games in the history of African court. One good shot from Jerry and he will be good to go. 
that is the good shot. He will have three yellow balls to contend with, all of them positioned well. He only needs to play calmly, that will go down as not the intended move. He wanted to start with the center pocket ball, we'll have another chance to get the good fight ball, which he does. Wonderful. It will be the easiest spot of the black to the player with the most gifted ability to put any ball on the table. He has a deep breath after taking down that breath. Jeremiah Naido, 19. Caesar Chandiga, 20. Two games left. Jerry needs them both. Caesar needs one. He will need to be lifted by his fans, Caesar, who are doing exactly that. Should he break fairly and spread the ball and put one ball, it will be celebration. It is a fair break. He puts red and another red. And a very good looking game, especially when playing the reds. Ladies and gentlemen, Caesar may produce a clearance. That could cause a burst of celebration amongst the hundreds of fans who are watching at the venue, Climax Bar, in the heart of Kampala City, the country with the most cool, crazy fans, I believe, on the continent, if not in the world. They are not only so passionate, they follow so knowledgeably, not just Ugandan pool, but also African pool, and where necessary, world pool. Caesar is so unforgiving. He knows that this clearance provides the best chance he has to win this match. He cannot stand to take this game to a decider. If he does, he will risk Jerry stealing the victory away from him. Even under pressure, he shoots as if it is a training practice routine. He has excelled against Eden, winning three out of four money matches. He has excelled against all Ugandans to the level of head starting them with plus six. He has excelled against all in Kenya. He has he had excelled against all in South Africa besides Jerry. And he's on the verge of winning one of the most pressurous frames he will ever win with the presence of a crowd at the venue of about 500 people who have paid their three US dollars to watch and an online viewing of 6,000 players, the very first on the African continent, one of the most live watched games in the history of the sport, I believe in the world. This is Caesar. Playing the penultimate shot for the last time, I believe, in the match. It would take total misfortune if he were not to win this frame. Ladies and gentlemen, Caesar on the black, but not anywhere near the perfect cue ball he aimed to have for himself. He nods his head 
in discomfort. Should he put this black, Kampala will burst into joy. Caesar misses. Jerry jumps off his table as if something has gone so terribly wrong and needs to rectify it. He doesn't believe his luck. He almost stood up to congratulate Caesar and yet he finds himself standing up to play. He did not believe that he would get another chance on the table and yet he is four shots away from taking this match to a decider. Imagine the pressure under which he has played that shot to perfection. Very special lad in Jerry. You cannot even imagine being in his shoes. Imagine playing against 5,000 fans. I beg your pardon, 500 fans who are only rooting for your opponent in a foreign country, speaking a language you don't even understand, and yet you find a way to try and win the game. He is a very special giant of a player, not just in body size, but also the way he delivers on the table. He is against the black for the 20th time in the match to take the game to a decider. If he puts, as he has done, ladies and gentlemen, the mouth watering mega match between Caesar and Jerry is going to the wire. Jerry and his management are asking for a timeout. This time we shall not have the video off. Do not sleep off ladies and gentlemen. Wait for just maximum 10 minutes. Even the decider will be over. Maximum time for timeout is 5 minutes ladies and gentlemen. Caesar 20, Jerry 20. Decider. Now, if you are man enough in the comment section, I want to see predictions. Only if you are man enough or woman enough. Brian Zulu, I want a prediction. Taylor Lincoln, I want a prediction. Tabang Skara, I want a prediction. Rogers Mulioa, Mehdi Kasumba, Yusuf Kagwa, Kingsley Adolphus, Nico Chetty. I need predictions.
Robert Tumusime, a player and fan wants to talk to you. Talk to the people. Um, I'm very happy of, of what is going on today. Uh, it is 2020. I'm very happy because this is a very good competition to each and every country. Uh, South Africa and Uganda and both players, Caesar and uh, Jerry. They are good, both of them, and they are playing well. Now this is the time to see who is who. This is the final day. This is the final time we are going to see. This is the decider game. We are watching and we are very happy of what is going on. Now you are very happy. And yet Jerry is the one who won the last two games to make it 2020. Can I take it that you are supporting Jerry? That's why you are very happy. Um, no, for me I'm a player. I'm supporting both the players. J Jeremiah and Caesar. Because I'm also a player. Okay. But I'm very happy of the game, of the performance which they have done today. We are they have performed very well. Very well. I am very happy today. That is it. And I am waiting for the final game. That is it. Actually, me myself, I am a Ugandan and I am supporting Jeremiah, <laughs> which is okay. <laughs> that is a Ugandan declaring his support for Jerry.
Ladies and gentlemen, Caesar is back. And the umpire has instructed Jerry to come to the table. It is just one frame for the $2,000. One frame for the money, one frame for the pride, one frame for the happiness. One frame to create happiness in South Africa and agony in Uganda or happiness in Uganda and agony in South Africa. One frame for the players, one frame for the fans, one frame for the management, one frame for the tour. If you were a manager of any of these players, what words would you have told them during the timeout? Because this is where management comes in plus, plus, plus. Arnold, the break is Jerry's. In my opinion, whatever happens, if you are watching and you are a supporter of Jerry, there is every reason to celebrate him. You do not come to Caesar's home country against 500 fans at the venue who are chanting the name of your opponent throughout the match, speaking a language you do not understand, alone, away from home, thousands of miles away from home, and then put up a performance as this one. Very commendable effort from Jeremiah Green. I'm seeing Jerry walking through the fans. Yeah. 
there comes Jerry. And some fans are clapping for his return. You've just had one of them, clearly a Ugandan, but supporting Jerry. I tell you why? Because he supports Ibra. So Jerry has fans around. Be sure about that. There comes the moment of pressure. Jerry inspects the balls just to ensure that they are compact together. Having a very memorable break. He's greeting his opponent. Each of the two will wish each other good luck, a gesture which has been appreciated by the fans. He has looked up into the skies, maybe to call upon the Lord for his sympathy. As he breaks for one last time, aims at the top ball for the first time since his tour. He almost fouled, didn't foul, but didn't put either. Caesar's fans celebrate. It is not the first time that he is playing against a giant player from South Africa and having a rest to 21 at 2020 and playing a decider against Eden in Kampala it was 2020 and went into a decider which Eden won against Eden in Nairobi it was 2020 a decider and Caesar won they rematched against Eden after the Grand Michana Open. Again, it went to 2020 and Caesar won. He has played various many matches against Jerry. None of them has gone to the decider. It is only the first time that these two brilliant shooters are playing a decider. Caesar got the benefit of doubt when Jerry didn't put a ball on the break. But Caesar's aim to go for a single visit clearance, a red apple, seems to have hit a snag. He's between a rock and a hard place. He has caused reason for Uganda to worry. But he has caused reason for South Africa to hope, to expect, to believe, to anticipate that victory could be in sight. Bank shot by Jerry to the corner pocket where he has another yellow ball. His intention was to occupy the pocket fully with two yellow balls. It worked out only partially because there is some space in between. But the game is too tight to call. The contest is now is for the corner pocket on the right. Not to put a ball in the pocket, but to occupy the same pocket with the player's color of balls. Eden, Joseph is watching. On a normal day, Jerry will go for this game at this stage. But it is not a normal day. It is $2,000 to play one frame for. It is against Caesar. It is in Caesar's homeland. It is against 500 fans watching at the venue. And it is against over 6,000 fans watching online for the first time in the history of African pool. Caesar against Jerry in a tense decider. Locked out in battle. Climax bar in the heart of Kampala City with hundreds chanting Caesar's name online. I will say that Jerry has delivered, irrespective of whether he wins this frame or not, he has made his fans proud. He has made the Rainbow Nation of South Africa proud. He has stamped his name 
as a top player of the sport on the continent. You do not come from home thousands of miles away. Battle against seven Ugandans. Different venues, different pool tables, different districts, different sets of crowds, different playing conditions. Away from home, not even understanding the language that they are speaking, and yet you continue to perform. And the last money match that was organized is against the best of them all. And here is Jerry taking it to a decider. Very recommendable job from the South African. But not a bad performance from Caesar today. Only that his opponent has come very ready and prepared. He is a wounded bulldozer. Wounded by the performance of Ibra yesterday at the same place, same venue, same table, same race. And yet Ibra surprised Ugandans by winning convincingly 21-15. Jerry has every reason to try and win this match. The success of his tour of Uganda is dependent on this frame you are looking at. He came to play seven money matches against Ugandans, but there are two money matches that he was mostly looking out for. You silence Uganda when you take down Ibra and Caesar. He lost out to Ibrahim Sejemba and the other Ibra, Kayanja, also defeated him. He will save his tour if he wins this frame. And if he wins this frame, he will have won the match. Jerry on the yellows, Caesar in play on the reds. Take time, take time. Caesar misses but only just on a nobody Jerry will finish away the yellows but it's not a normal day a normal day is not a decider a normal day is not 2020 a normal day is not the biggest of a tour a normal day is not against caesar a normal day is not 2000 us dollars for one game jerry thinks caesar prays uganda prays south africa hopes he seems to be aiming once again for another defensive safety shot, which he does, but not defensive enough. He was just afraid of failing to pot and then leaving the white for scissors taking. Be wary of the corner pocket on the left, on the right of your viewing area closest to your screen. That is where the game will be won because about five yellows and three reds are destined for that pocket. Caesar is aiming to port and open up the pocket in a shot that could win the game and the match. He does the port, he does the opening, but it's not a very fulfilling opening. Thank you, Africa, for allowing me to stream to you one of the most memorable matches that you will ever have. Thank you, Caesar. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you to their managers. Thank you, Africa. Thank you, Uganda, for hosting this. Thank you, Jerry, for accepting this invitation. We have a match at our hand. A serious-looking Caesar. He wants to open up the pockets closest to your screen on the right. There goes the opening, but he's not really lucky with the white. There is a chance he can see the red. I think he can see a very small part of the only red ball he's left with on the table. And should he see it, there is a chance it could go in against the rail, against the cushion to the corner pocket on the right of your screen, either direct to the pocket or off the yellow. He aims, does exactly that, 
almost sunk in the ball, almost won the game there and then, but misses. Another time, Jerry maps out his game. He will clearly need to play snooker. But once he does that, he will hope that Caesar doesn't find his red ball. Because if he finds it, he could probably play the black for the last time and definitely to pot. Jerry snookers. What can Caesar do? I don't think off the cushion near the red on the right he can find his ball. If he passes the opposite side of the ball, that path is blocked by the presence of the black ball. In a nutshell, Caesar is in danger. The scorpion is being tempted by the bulldozer, being given a test of his own medicine in his home country, in front of his own fans, who are in hundreds, way more than the 500 I initially anticipated they are around 700 caesar is playing a mass shot white ball must cover around two of jerry's yellows for him to find the red and put. look at the celebration this is the best of the scorpion ladies and gentlemen how dare him how do you even produce a shot of that magnitude in a game of this magnitude against the pressure of this magnitude this boy is a wonder of the sport oh my god how even do you but wait do not celebrate if you are a caesar fan because he does not have a direct route of the black ball he must be anticipating to bank it to the corner pocket on the right of your screen in the background Whether he wins or loses this frame, the moment that he has played the shots he has done in the last few seconds, if not one minute, is a moment that will never ever be forgotten by 6,500 of you watching live. Caesar trying to do exactly what he did against Jerry when the game was at 2020 at the Mchana Pub and Grill in Nairobi, banking the black ball to almost the same corner pocket as it were in Nairobi. This time he misses, goes for the center pocket and again misses. The fans nod their head in disbelief. Kampala is about to freeze. Johannesburg is about to burst in joy. Jerry on a normal day will clear this game 10 times out of 10. And he finds the first spot. Ladies and gentlemen, I am allowed to anticipate. I will go silent for some seconds. Enjoy Jerry's clearance. How dare he? Why would he go for the bank shot? As if he was teasing Caesar, as if he was teasing his fans. As if he was teasing you watching online. In your thousands. He takes a deep breath for one last time. Africa watches. In anticipation, in expectation, in disbelief. Prayers for Ugandans, expectation for South Africans, excitement for the rurals. 
Jerry to play two more yellows to corresponding center pockets and the black ball to center pockets the, the last center pocket to take home Caesar the fans will make one more desperate move to shout Jerry off target but he will not want to know he has some fans at the venue they will be celebrating Jerry celebrates he wows himself up he re-energizes himself he's up against the black for the last time in the match and ladies and gentlemen Jerry defeats Caesar and fans will congratulate him I will give him his time to celebrate but we will be getting him definitely for you for an interview Sorry? Do you know what you have I can say is I, I tried my best, you know, when I was down, I was, I, I never lost faith, I told myself, as long as I get a chance, I, I'll make use of that chance, and even when it came to a decider, I, people don't normally see me playing safety, but I think this was the, the most safeties I played in a frame after a long time, yeah, but uh, I did what I had to do to to win the session, but uh, all credit to Caesar, he played like a machine. Uh, he, he made some uh, very good finishes, uh, took his opportunities well. Well, actually, uh, there's no problem with that. But, but uh, what I wanted to say was, I'm, I'm not convinced about Sejemba Ibra. So I'm challenging him tomorrow for 4,000 pot race to 25. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Enjoy your win.